pieces in place that we can do. Welcome to the first edition of Slate Sports Live. My name is Jamison Barker, alongside my partner, Slick Willie Whistler. We're here to give you the 411 on everything going on in Shippensburg Athletics. With Slate Sports Live, we plan to bring you inside Shippensburg University Athletics with highlights, interviews, and more. This week, you, you know what we had a lot of, Jamison? We had a lot of this. Buckets! <laughs> As you know, Jameson, the Shippensburg University men's and women's basketball teams have been putting together a spectacular season this far, continuing winning streaks. Did you know neither team has lost since December 16th? Wow. Will, you, you truly are an encyclopedia of basketball knowledge. Well, what, I know you got a chance to see Wednesday night's game. Uh, what do you think of the game? Well, well uh, the women came in that one, winners of their last nine, and they were taking on a struggling Mountain Cat team, and boy, did they give them the business. Let's check out the highlights. Logan Snyder starts us off with two hard drives to the basket. She would finish her day with 11. Next up, we got Colleen Young running those cycles hard, sneaking behind the defense, laying it out for two. The Raiders' selflessness was on display all game. As Young finds gold, he finds Nauer under the basket. Now her continued to make her presence felt in the paint. She finished with a team high 14. The Raiders fast pace caught UPJ off guard as Hilly Scullion adds one off a of Mountain Cat miss. And once again, Colleen Young. Need I say more? Shanice Lee goes Drano off the mid-range shot here. She added six of SU's 25 bench points. The final score, 76-45. The Shippensburg University men's basketball team came into Wednesday's game ranked number five in the Division II, facing off against the PSAC West Division's third place team in the University of Pitt Johnstown. Yeah, and the Raiders made it rain from beyond the arc in that one, knocking down a, or a school record, rather, 16 three pointers. Let's check out the highlights. The number five Raiders hosted the University of Pitt Johnstown Wednesday night, and early on, Dustin Sleva knocks down a three. It would continue most of the night as the Raiders set a school record with 16 three-pointers in the game. Here's Sleva again for three, his second in the game's opening minutes. Justin MacArthur was also fantastic, knocking down six threes in the win, tying his career high of six three-pointers made in the game. Here's MacArthur again as he gets the shot to fall. With the win, SU improves to 18-0 and 14-0 in the PSAC. Here's Chris Fight and Justin MacArthur after the game. I'm excited about the way we played. I mean, I'm more excited about the defensive end and the way that we took them out of their game. Uh, you know, they're they're one of the most efficient offensive teams in the league, and, uh, and we really frustrated them tonight. Our defensive effort was tremendous, and offensively, we've been efficient all year long. Uh, our guys really share the ball. We had 20 assists tonight, and, and the shots were going down, and um, their style of play kind of lends itself to that a little bit. They, they, they rotate and help each other well and really protect the basket, but in doing that, they give up some perimeter looks, and uh, we were fortunate enough to capitalize on that tonight. Um, I mean, my teammates, they, they give me the utmost confidence, my teammates, my coaches, and they always tell me if I'm open to shoot the ball. And, and the way we move the ball, uh, the way we share the ball, we get each other open. And, Right, we trust uh, that whatever open shot we have, that uh, we cannot hit. Dive in the pool now and toss it over to Blair Garrett with this week's swimming recap. Cool. SU Swimming hit the road to Bucknell this weekend to compete in the Bison Invite. Freshman duo Jeff Beyer and Nick Bloom starred for the Raiders as Beyer had a second place and fifth place finish and secured three PSAC qualifiers on the day. Bloom ended the meet with a fourth place finish and tacked on three PSAC qualifiers as well. For the women, freshman Gabriella Johnson landed in SU's history books with her finish in the 100-yard breaststroke. Her finish slots her 10th all-time in SU history. The Bison invite will close out the regular season for SU swimmers, who are now set to prepare for the PSAC championships at York College. Here's Nate Pallas with wrestling. The wrestling team won its meeting against Millersville last Tuesday, but lost to Seton Hill on Saturday. The Raiders won all their contested bouts against Millersville, with the only points for the Marauders coming from forfeits. Dustin Stefanino recorded his fifth straight victory and his fifth pin of the year against Millersville. The Raiders were only able to record two victories over Seton Hill, with the majority of the matches being decided by fewer than three points. Freshman Derek Berberick picked up a major decision to improve his season record to 10-10. Shippensburg will return to action in a tri-meet this Saturday 
on Alumni Day at Highgate Fieldhouse. For those of you keeping track at home, I'm sure you saw that we neglected to mention uh, past Saturday's game at Millersville. And uh, well, Will told me we got some good news and some bad news. So Will, go ahead, give us the bad news first. The bad news is that the men's streak came to an end. After winning 18 straight games, the men fell at Millersville 82 65. But on the good news is that the women's team continued their winning streak, winning 11 straight with a 62 51 win over Millersville. All right, all right. Undefeated season out of the cards, but national title? Very much in them. Every week with Slate Sports Live, we will look to highlight one of the campus's athletic teams. This week is, you guessed it, men's basketball. Simmonsburg University men's basketball team reeled off an impressive 18 straight wins to open its season. But what has that experience been like for the team? It's exciting, man. It's exciting. You know, we're, we're enjoying it. I'm proud of, of these guys and how hard they work and, and how committed they are. And uh, they deserve every second of this. And, and uh, we, we certainly want them to enjoy it, too. And we talk about it. You know, uh, it's I'm not trying to ignore it or anything. And we're, we're making history as far as Shippensburg basketball goes. And so uh, we're going to enjoy it every step of the way. And uh, we'll try and stay focused. A big part of SU's success has been Justin MacArthur who's been shooting the ball exceptionally well of late from three-point range. Well, he's, uh, he's playing with a lot of confidence right now, and, uh, and I'm, I'm really happy for him because uh, he's, he's really shown what he's capable of, and uh, he's, he's put us on, our, on his back a couple times uh, this year, and uh, I'm glad we have him. Um, especially, um, we didn't expect all this coming in, but I mean, I mean it's, it's, been, it's been a crazy ride. I'm just, I'm just hoping that we can keep it going. Yeah, it's been a whole lot of fun. You know, we just got to keep our chip on our shoulder, keep playing the way we're playing. We share the ball really well. We all have fun together. You know, it's more of a chemistry thing after a couple years. So it's been a lot of fun. Everybody loves each other, so we just feed off each other's energy. Going into Saturday's game against Millersville University, the men's team was ranked in the top five of the Division II pool. It's, it's exciting to, uh, for, for the, the program and for the university to have our name on a national stage like that. And, uh, and like I said, I'm excited for our guys and I'm proud that we're up there. I feel like we deserve it and uh, I'm excited to see where this all takes us. Uh, it's amazing. You know, we got to enjoy it, but you also got to understand that it really doesn't mean anything right now. Um, we got to keep playing every day, keep battling every day, and then we'll hopefully get a couple championships here. The men's team will host Kutztown University Wednesday. Two of SU's track and field athletes were honored by the PSAC office for their performances January 21st at Bucknell. With the PSAC Athlete of the Week, here's Blair Garrett. SU senior Sarah Hunt was awarded the PSAC Women's Indoor Athlete of the Week Tuesday for her performance at Bucknell last weekend. Hunt was SU's only event winner on Saturday, claiming the triple jump with a phenomenal jump of 39 feet and 1 and 1 quarter inches. Hunt's jump was a personal best by more than two inches, and she currently sits in ninth place in all of Division II in the triple jump. Hunt was also SU's fastest 60 meter runner at Bucknell. Alec Rideout was named the PSAC Men's Indoor Athlete of the Week after a standout PR in the shot put of 56 feet, 8.5 inches, shattering his former PR by 6 inches. Rideout currently sits atop the PSAC rankings and is in sixth in the Division II in the shot put. For Slate Sports Live, I'm Blair Garrett. Well, it feels good to get that first one out of the way. I don't know about you, Will, but that was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to diving into a semester of Shippensburg Athletics alongside you. Alongside Jamison Barker, I'm William Whistler. See you next week.